Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Thursday, May 18th, 2023. Before I click on all the charts, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already and subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. You'll be provided notification each and every time new content has been uploaded. That includes the daily Apple and daily Tesla report and the occasional free stock pick we put out there. We also do two uh, stock picks every week on wickedstocks.com. This week was on Win Resorts and Taiwan Semiconductor. We just put out uh, on Wednesday. Uh, you might check those out. Those stock picks provide analysis, buy and sell signal recommendations on the the uh, what I would call the short-term investor to the near-term investor. Short-term being more like the two to three, three to five week swing trade, uh, you know, investor. And also we cover the two to three to three to five month time horizon on stock picks. Always looking for 20% moves or better. Um, and you might check that out at wickedstocks.com. It's part of our subscription package that includes a full suite of analytical videos, including the daily spy report, the daily triple Q report, weekly analysis and the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the long bond ETF, the TLT. Uh, we also offer a five-day money back, not money back, sorry, a five-day free trial. So if you fill out, you become a subscriber, you have five days to bail out if you want to, if you don't like what you see, but I suspect you will like what you see. Check out wickedstocks.com. So here we are, daily Apple report. I'll just remind you that several weeks ago, we settled above a significant long-term channel top that this week is at 171.02, then setting off a, a longer-term show of strength. Up to that point, we were open or considering the possibility that this 171 handle resistance might actually contain buying into later year and we could fall off from here in a meaningful way. But that is not what Apple seems intent on doing, if you will. Holding above 171.02, 182.94 is expected by the end of June. The 218.37 long-term rising channel top over the next full year or sooner. That is the big picture above 171.02. And on uh, Wednesday, we slipped into that zone pre pre uh, presenting a buy opportunity. For those of you who are not long yet, you can see we did it on the daily chart. There's 170.71, 170.42 was the low. We closed higher on the day in the 172 handle. And so this is still a significant floor of long-term support above which, you know, this this is an area well-suited for day traders, three to five day swing traders, uh, three to five week position traders, and, uh, you know, longer term investors looking over the next year in terms of the three to five day swing trade. I could finesse that a little bit and show you that we do have a descending channel top now, 173.61. Now, I have very cautiously and I'm mentioning that cautiously to you uh, consider this a session containment level. Because of the consolidative nature we're still in, it just might contain daily buying pressures. And from there, we could fall back into the 171 handle again within the day where the market encounters long-term support. I am considering a violation of 173.61, an eventuality uh, like uh, like over the next couple of days, it may actually be today. So if we push through 173.61, the move high from about a week ago, 174.59 is likely. And if we close today above 173.61, the 176.77 rising channel top becomes our next one to three day target where we can place a daily high. But I'm keeping it light up here. I'm not encouraging aggressive selling until we, we reach our three to five week ob uh, objective in the low 180s. So you could also say perhaps that a mere settlement today above 173.61 is your go with buy signal as we move through the rest of May. Yes, this market can hesitate for a day or so at 176.77, but closing above 173.61 after having tested on Wednesday long-term support may well yield a two to three week rally into the lower 180s. This rising 181.22 channel top converges over the next week with the 182.94 all-time high from January of 22. If you like the daily Apple report, a wickedstocks.com membership delivers regular daily video analysis in both the SPY and the Triple Q, weekly video analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and a U.S. Treasury ETF, and two individual stock pick videos every week. Do yourself a favor and check out our other content by clicking the link below.
Um, actually, it's better shown here. This is our three to five week objective, and uh, we may reach it much sooner than this chart uh, seems to suggest. We've got a lot of hesitation here uh, right after the buy signal, but things can get up and underway uh, sooner than later. And once again, closing today above 173.61 may well be the sooner than later. So that is that really to the upside. Should you sell 173.61? I think if you're an aggressive day trader, sure, because we could fall back into the 171 handle again. But if you're more of a three to five day swing trader uh, and beyond, it, the opportunity really did present itself on Wednesday for buying that 171.02 level. And you're basically holding. If we close above 173.61, you breathe a sigh of relief, expecting 176.77 within a day or two, ultimately on into the low 180s where we could actually double top at least on a weekly basis, possibly through the month of June. And if we close above 182.94 in the coming weeks, uh, that is an accelerator. And I would expect this targeted 218.37 long-term channel top to be really re realized within about three to five months of closing above 182.94. Now for the downside, I'll stick with this chart. You know, we're, we're near the end of the week and it really is a settlement tomorrow, Friday at 169.31 or lower, which is a 1% downside violation of 171.02 that would represent buy signal failure, the failure to follow through on that buy signal by closing back below that formation by a 1% margin would in itself be a sign of weakness. And under that scenario, now this could happen today, I don't expect it, but if it did happen today, it's the same story. I just would want to see how the week then settles out tomorrow to be sure. Uh, but really, I would look for this. Um, 167.70 is almost a moot point right now. I don't even like showing it here. It's so close to this 169.31 level. This 158.40 is really our next two to three, three to five week objective. If we were to close at 169.31 or lower, and I would expect the upper 140s as well over the next couple of months, if, if, we close back below that 171.02 channel top by a 1% margin. Until then, it's all systems go to the upside. And that is really all that needs to be said. Uh, please click like, subscribe, and check out wicketstocks.com. Be back tomorrow with Friday's Apple Report. You have a great day.